Hey guys, that might give me back here for that video. Guys, people are having issues with house rules, and we also, of course, do have Team Diamonds on the horizon. So let's go ahead and talk about all that kind of stuff, and let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. So starting off right away, house rules are coming to the game soon, and people are upset about it. Pretty much what house rules goes in and gives you is after you get 25 wins, you go ahead and receive back an 88 overall ultimate kickoff player, and people are not happy about that reward. Um, mainly because the fact is NCAT, and if you already did the solos, you already did the um, solo challenges plus the yard, you got four of these 88 of all players already, plus you would get one more for doing house rules. I don't really see it as a big issue, in all honesty. I mean, I know so I've heard people say like it's an outdate, uh, outdated promo, and I get that concept, but it is an 88 overall at the end of the day, and some of these uh, cards are actually pretty dang good. I would definitely say that some of these players now they are NCAT for a reason and this is why EA is making these all NCAT is because they don't want you completing the Calvin Johnson set or the Sean Taylor set and getting them for cheaper if they weren't you know NCAT and they were just NAT I think a lot more people would be happy about this house rule thing and would be completing these uh, two uh, mat, uh, champion sets right now and there would be no issue at all but obviously because again you can't complete the sets it comes down to i'm not sure if it's a random fantasy pack or a random card uh because it would make sense why people would be more upset then because if you get a random player you can't use and it's ncat so if you quick sell you get pretty much nothing it becomes almost pointless nonetheless though should be interesting to see how they do go ahead and change that uh because a lot of the community is upset about it and would be interested they go ahead and change that uh actual card to something else Anyway, though, guys, let's go ahead and talk about something else, and that's going to go ahead and be Team Diamonds. So in a week's time, we're going to be able to go over to a Team Infinity set right here and see Team Diamonds posted right here. Now, Team Diamonds are pretty much plain simple, just like this. We have a total of 32 different players. Those players will uh, actually go ahead and require different gold cards and elite cards to go ahead and complete the sets. Now, when it comes to investing or, you know, holding off for these Team Diamonds, they are not going to be exactly what you think and what i mean by that is that they are not going to be the high overall elite cards usually they are the lower overall elite cards plus the gold cards so cards like that are gold cards that are like 70 74 overall some of them will probably be in a set and they might go up in value if they do go ahead and be put in the set so players like adam butler right here he might be put in the dolphin set and he could be an expensive card in the near future like i said before i'm not telling you go out and buy these cards and stack them up in your binder what i'm saying is if you already have some of these cards like i opened a crap ton of get a gold player packs today and i have a crap ton of these cards the recommendation would be maybe hold on to them wait a little see what they end up going ahead and going for because they could skyrocket up in price depending on what ends up happening with the sets again we have to wait and see what the sets end up being like because they could go ahead and just you know say fluff everyone just make them you know um wild card sets where you go ahead and put any gold card in there or they could do like they did in the past where it simply is going to go ahead and be all you know select gold cards select gold selects uh, elite cards so players like for example panthers you'll probably see a dj more in that set um now again like i said before if they do go ahead and use a higher raw cards which i still doubt they will because they've never done that in the past uh usually the t uh, higher raw cards are meant for the team diamond two sets um if they do go ahead and do that then we could see the price of some of these higher overall cards go up in value simply because now there is a market for people to buy these cards and actually try to add them to the squad so for example like again jalen ramsey stuff like that but i highly doubt that at any stretch of the imagination if they do use promo cards that would be interesting too but at the end of the day these uh team diamonds are going to be around the 86 to 89 overall range so they're going to be right around the range that everyone is playing with right now and of course there will be a team diamond champion which will most likely be a 90 91 overall card and it should be very exciting to see who ends up being my guess would be we're probably going to see a I'm going to guess Barry Sanders. I'm really going to guess Barry Sanders. He was it last year. And I know, you know, they don't always copy and paste every single year the same exact player. But I'm just having this weird feeling right now. Like it's going to be Barry Sanders again. I think it's going to be Barry Sanders as a team champion, a uh, team diamond champion this year. And in order to complete his set, you have to complete all 32 of the sets in order to put the little collectible in and get that back. Um, other than that, though, I'm going to be interested to see how they end up or what legends they end up choosing for this. Because there's a lot of legends they could go ahead and choose. 
And I don't know how EA is going to play this just because of the fact that I know no matter who they choose, people are going to be upset with their choice. That's a, that's a given at this point, right? But at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of players from history that could be used in these sets. We already have a lot of good cards in the game right now. So, like, for example, for the Baltimore Ravens, we already have Johnny Unitas, right? So we don't really need a... I mean, they could go with Kyle Bowler, but that would be rather disappointing. Steve McNair, they could go with him, but they, obviously he was a tight end. I'm starting to think about, like, Derek Mason is another really great option, but he was, of course, a tight end. So they could make Derek Mason. We could make Anquan Bolden. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, ooh, what's his name? Adams. He was a D-tackle back for us in 2000. Um, Jamie Sharper. There's a lot. Again, I don't know how many names, how many, uh, like, actual players EA has, like, signed that they can use for these, for this game. But Jamie Sharper is another one. Chris McAllister, we've had him in the U.S. past. Uh, Brandon Stokely, we've had him. We actually have not had him in the U.S. past. Uh, Shane Sharp, you know, again, he might be the Denver Broncos one. Um, and a lot of other choices. Now, these players are not technically considered legends. And how EA says Team Diamonds are, are they're not actual legends. They're like, I guess, players from the past. It's the same concept with Team of the Week, right? EA has made it very clear that these players right here are not supposed to be selectively just legend players. They could be anybody. They could be a player who just had a really good week one of, you know, in the season, right? And that's what they really are trying to hammer home on is that the fact that don't think of these cards as just legend cards. They could be any card possible. It could be a legend card. It could also be a, you know, just a random player who played good. So that is quite interesting. Nonetheless, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions and who are your predictions for your team diamonds for your team? Um, there's a lot of players in the past for the Ravens that they could go ahead and use, but it's kind of weird because we're on that fence of like, is would he be on the Ravens or would he be on another team, right? So it's kind of on that like thin line. Vontae Leach is another really great player. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.